Let's get on to today's topic, and it's a really, really good one. We've got a mashup. We've got some companies that have come together to bring you something that's really interesting and fun. And we've got it all set up in the studio today, so I'm gonna to talk to you about it. I'm gonna talk you through the hardware and the software and what's new and special about this for DJs. And then we are going to give away the full setup that I'm about to show you because the companies involved who are Allen and Heath and Beatport have kindly teamed up with us to give away what you're about to see to two lucky winners. And I'll tell you how to enter the draw to win that when we've had a look at it. So let's start by having a look at it. And this is what it is. You probably saw it on the intro. We're not gonna give you the MacBook, sorry about that, but what we have here is a mashup of this piece of hardware, which some of you, especially some of you who are a bit longer in the tooth, might have seen before, though it looks a bit different. I'll get onto that. And this software that's running on this computer here. The software is Beatport DJ. Now we've covered this before. As I say, this is a mashup of things that have kind of already existed. The software is Beatport DJ. It's an awesome piece of software because it lets you DJ in your browser. So this is a Chrome app, it just runs inside the Chrome browser. And it's got everything on it that you'd expect from DJ software. It's got your library, it's got your tracks, your beat grids and your waveforms, your effects, your loops, your EQs, filters, cue points, etc., etc. I mean, this is really very, very good DJ software insofar as what's in it is pretty powerful. So you get the chance to link up to Beatport. We'll talk about that in a minute. There's all kinds of settings, headphone preview and so on, audio settings uh, and MIDI controller settings as well. So now it's probably starting to come together for you. If you're bright, if you're smart, if you're on the ball today, because this mashup involves that piece of software, which has been around for a while. We've already covered and reviewed it on Digital DJ Tips. It's great. It means you can DJ in your browser, which is really cool, especially if you're a Chromebook user because you haven't been able to do that with Chromebook before now. You know, Serato, Tractor, Rekordbox, they all need you to have a Mac or a, a Windows computer because they need to be installed and Chromebook computers just open Chrome and everything works in the browser. Well, this lets you do that. So we've got a really cool piece of DJ software in the browser. So that's the kind of software bit. Now, where does the music come from? Let's cover that bit off now. This is called Beatport DJ. So not surprisingly, the idea is that it links into a Beatport account. So this software here is linked into the Digital DJ Tips Beatport account. It's got all our playlists in it. It's got all the stuff we've purchased and it's got access to everything that's in Beatport. And you can load it onto the Dex DJ with it. You can make playlists. So as a Beatport user, which you probably are, if you are an electronic music DJ, this software gives you a really nice way to interface with the whole Beatport store, much nicer than using the store itself. And so this is kind of like Beatport streaming, which plugs into all those pieces of DJ software I just mentioned, but plugged into your browser. And you can build playlists, listen to your purchases, all that stuff I just talked about. So it's a really nice addition to Beatport. And this is part of the Beatport streaming subscription, right? So we've covered the browser software and we've covered the subscription. What about the hardware? Well, the hardware is this unit here. It is the Allen & Heath Zone K2. Now, as I say, if you're a little bit long in the tooth, you've probably seen this before. This has actually been around for bloody ages. I mean, probably 10 years. This has been around for a long, long time. It's still made today and it's still popular today. Why? Because it's an awesome modular DJing solution. This is pro. It's a pro piece of gear. It feels pro. It's not going to let you down. The faders are Allen and Heath quality, the knobs and buttons and so on. But what's good about this is that it's not only some very useful DJ knobs and buttons, and we'll talk about what's happening because notice on the screen, stuff's happening. I'll talk about that in a minute. It's not only that, but also this unit here is a audio interface. So not only is this plugged into our laptop, again, we'll talk about that in a minute, but it's also plugged into our audio. So around the back of the unit, I've got plugged in our speakers. And this could plug into a club sound system, for instance, but currently I've got our speakers and the computer plugged into it. Whereas meanwhile, around the front, I've got our headphones plugged in because this can work with the DJ software that's running on this browser. Remember, it's just running on a browser with headphones and with audio output from the back for your speakers. 
So this is a modular controller. It's, you see DJs using these in kind of real clubs because they can plug it into DJ software and get an awful lot of mapped control. And Alan and Heath have always had mappings for all kinds of software, Ableton and DJ software and so on for these. But that's where we're gonna move on to now because we've looked at the fact that this controller is controlling this software. And we'll talk through how it does that in a minute or rather what controls you get. We've also looked at the fact that this is pro gear. So this could be used with decent audio output in a club as well as for preparing music and so on. But there's another thing going on here. This looks pretty cool. It looks like it's got the Beatport logo on it. And the reason it's got the Beatport logo on it is it's got one of these on. This is a overlay that tells you all the controls that you've got here for the Beatport DJ app. And this is the kind of final piece of the puzzle here because this overlay basically makes it really easy to plug this unit into the Beatport software running on a browser on your laptop and can quickly control everything that's on it. So it's got pitch and volume and EQs and filters and effects and loops and everything that you expect browsing through your collection, loading tracks and all that stuff is on the controls which is detailed on the overlay. And you just pull the knobs off and you pop the overlay on top, push the knobs back and there you go. So now I guess you're starting to see why this is so cool because you've got here a really nice way of controlling a DJ app that's running in your browser. This is a full DJ software running in your browser. You've got the overlay, which means it's really easy to see the controls. And you've got your quality controls, and this is a quality unit. So this is all stuff that you could use by throwing it in your bag and using it in a club, but also um, you could use it uh, for preparing in a hotel room or whatever and plugging into sound systems and into headphones. Quite a unique little setup we've got here then. So before I tell you how you can win one of these, and by the way, we'd love you to ask questions about this. I, that's what we're here for. And not only that, I've got Alan and Heath in the YouTube, I think. So hello, Al, over there. Um, he's going to be helping you over there. We'll help you whatever platform you're on. And by the way, get onto Facebook. And I always say this every week, get onto Facebook to watch this. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. And YouTube is the most popular platform followed by Facebook, followed by Twitch. Hello, everyone. But get onto Facebook because two reasons today. One, on Facebook, when you watch our live shows, anything you ask underneath will get, will stay there. So when the live show's over, the comments stay there. So we can answer you and help you, right? So it doesn't happen like that on YouTube, doesn't happen like that on Twitch. But secondly, today especially, I'm going to open a prize drawer in a minute and you're going to need to enter on Facebook. So you don't have to do it now if you're on another platform, but afterwards go find the Facebook broadcast uh, on the Digital DJ Tips Facebook page at facebook.com slash digital DJ tips. And do what I tell you in a minute there if you want to win what I'm about to announce. So before we do that, before I announce the prize draw, great prize draw, thank you Alan and Heath, thank you to Beatport for what I'm about to tell all our viewers today about. I just want to show you a little bit more closely what this can do and the mapping they've come up with because it's really very clever. So on the unit itself here, we've got four faders, but it's only two channel DJ software. So look on the screen as I'm explaining this stuff and you'll see what's happening. So I've got the volumes for both decks here. I've also got the pitch faders that are changing the speed of the tracks here for both decks. So we've got pitch and volume going on here, which is pretty cool. So down at the bottom here, we've got our looping controls. We've also got our cues for the decks, cues uh, for deck A and deck B and our play buttons. We've got our sync buttons. Yes, you've got sync. We've got library browsing. You can browse through our library here. I can load onto decks A and B, the tracks that I've chosen. So I just loaded uh, Blow Your Whistle onto deck A there. Crafty Cuts, I'm actually in a Crafty Cuts playlist here in Beatport. And so, all the stuff that you would imagine that you could get on DJ hardware normally, most of it is on here. At the top here, we've got EQs, and you can see the EQs there moving up and down on the left-hand deck and the right-hand deck. We've got filters on each of the decks, and we've also got control over the X and Y and the various effects. So if you watch, look at the left-hand effect where my mouse is kind of circling there. You can see I'm moving on that XY pad on these effects. They're really cool, the effects, and also changing the effect that I've got on there. 
So overall, this unit gives you really granular control over the software. It's incredible how it works, to be honest. Plugging into a browser and having that kind of control and being able to configure that kind of audio and so on is something that's amazed us and made us really happy. We love seeing stuff like this. We love seeing companies get together and do mashups of things like this. Now, there's only two real hoops that you've got to jump through if you're looking at this thinking, yeah, I want it. The first one is you've got to get the audio configured right, especially if you want to use headphones. I'm not going to go into how it's done here, but you do need to be able to do that. And secondly, there's currently no way of controlling the headphone volume or no easy way. So you have to just kind of like use that as part of your overall volume. It's not a deal breaker, but it is something that we kind of scratched our head about for a bit and checked in with them. And at the moment, there's no way of doing that. But apart from that, this is a fully featured DJ system that's... Uh, that's all in a browser, and that's the cool thing. And this, of course, you can throw in your bag. And what we love about this is, yes, you can throw it in your bag. Yes, you can DJ anywhere with it. But also, yes, you can take it into a club because it's not cheapo stuff. It's high quality gear with the kind of faders and buttons and knobs that you'd expect from a company like Allen & Heath. So there we go. This is the mashup of Beatport DJ, software running in your browser, specifically in a Chrome browser, the Allen & Heath Zone K2, new lease of life for this veteran but still very valid controller with great audio quality, four out audio interface and all the controls you could want for controlling DJ software like this and this incredible overlay. And I think I should just tell you about the overlay as well because if you already own a K2, you can go and get this software and get a Beatport subscription into there now and go to their website, to the K2 page and on the K2 page on the website, you can download the overlay. So you don't need to do anything else. Just go download the overlay from their website here.